pounding the Texas coast. This is CNN Tonight. I'm Don Lemon. Hurricane Harvey, one of the most powerful hurricanes in years, makes landfall in Texas as a Category 4 storm with winds of 130 miles an hour. The storm pounding the coast with winds, knocking down trees, power poles, and signs with torrential rains dilute deluging streets. The National Weather Service in Houston warning that parts of South Texas could be uninhabitable for weeks or for months. President signing a disaster proclamation for the state. Our reporters are out in the middle of the storm tonight along the Texas coast. CNN's Chad Myers is in the CNN Hurricane headquarters. Martin Savage is in Corpus Christi, Texas. Martin, let's start with you. Uh, you've been there riding this storm out. Give us the very latest. Yeah, it may seem a bit like uh, the storm has subsided some here in Corpus Christi. It has not. It's just the fact that the wind continues to shift in different directions. We've got a large building that is blocking the wind, but if you were outside of that shield, you would still be getting just blasted by the wind and now inundated by the rain. It's that, that next level of this disaster that seems to start to be unfolding. A heavy deluge of water that is coming down. About 63,000 people at last report we had in Corpus Christi, at least, without electricity. So that is going to be an ongoing problem for some time. There's also now word that there could be some contamination to the city's water supply, so they put a boil order into effect. And then there is the fact that this city has just been taking a pounding for hour after hour after hour. In fact, this uh, just fell uh, a short while ago um, on our position here. You could imagine, and this is why you don't go out in a storm like this when this stuff is in the air. It could be potentially lethal. The other concerns are that we're hearing that there's damage in some of the other areas, such as Port Aransas and also in Rockport. Now, a lot of that information is coming via social media. You really can't get a true estimate until the first responders and emergency teams get out there, and they're not going to get out there in the darkness, not with this storm still raging. So you may hear reports, but officially we have not been told of extensive damage. That'll probably have to wait till daylight even if then, because that's the problem. This storm is going to stay a powerful storm, maybe even a hurricane, for another 12 or 24 hours. And then the heavy deluge of rain will just continue into next week. We haven't seen a storm like this one in a long time, if ever, as far as first the punch of the wind and the, well, hurricane force of a four storm, and then this not inches of rain, feet of rain yet to come. Don, it's going to be something really, really awful here. Martin, be safe. We see stuff flying around you uh, out there, so we'll get back to you. But please be careful. Bring in Chad Myers now. He is in the CNN Hurricane headquarters with more. Chad, uh, this uh, storm, a hurricane, made landfall already last time we yes. spoke to you. Where is it heading? It is heading north of Corpus Christi and over that Rockport area again. And I know we don't have anything confirmed, but there is video out there. I know the shooters of the video, and I know it's real. I know there's damage in Rockport, but the backside of that eye is about to hit again. You need to get away from that video camera, get back inside, and don't worry about taking pictures because the winds are going to be 115, 120 the other direction. Rockport, you got the middle of the eye. You got one side, and you have now the other. Couldn't be a worse possible situation here. The winds are still 130 miles per hour. The storm has not died off because there's not that much land there. You know, the storm dies when it hits land. Well, in the Port Lavaca area, all the way back over to Corpus Christi, there's just a lot of water still. There's a bay there, so we're not truly over land yet. Cat 4 eventually down to a Cat 1, but it will just meander. And this is the rub. It's not going to move much tonight, and it won't move anywhere tomorrow. Models are completely confused as to where it goes. So let's pick out one model, and I'll show you what I think is going to happen here. Here is the model of Precip, and it is scary. You can see the bottom, Brownsville, the top up here near Houston. The brown areas here across the area, here's yellow and red and purple. Those are probably still going to see about 5 to 10 inches of rain. But it's the white and the gray. If you get to the white, that's 20. You get to the gray, that's 30. 
30 inches of rainfall in parts of East Texas and not out of the way of Louisiana either. We could still be seeing more in the way of heavy rainfall for New Orleans. We know what happened the last time they had heavy rainfall. This is a couple days away here, but it's still a big spinning storm, Don, and it's by far not over. And in fact, for the most part, just starting. The damage is really just getting going right now. Take a deep breath. Yes, it's on shore, but that doesn't help. Chad, can we talk a little bit more about this? Because I, uh, I spoke with the, the guy at the National Weather Service, and they said that this storm could leave wide swaths of South Texas uninhabitable for weeks or months. Explain why this storm is so different. It's different, Don, because the storm is very, very deep in pressure. It is a low pressure, 29.70, 939 millibars. If you just want to do all the numbers. That just means it's an incredibly low pressure that has to eventually fill in to nothing, to to zero. That's not going to happen for many days, maybe five days before this thing officially stops spinning. And the model numbers that I'm seeing from the European model tonight are very devastating. 50 inches of rain in seven days. That's more than you should get in the entire year. And even back toward Houston, 22. There's nothing you can do with 22 except watch the water run off and try to stay out of the flood. It is a storm that won't move. At least we hope it does. But so far, it's not going to move, and that's why we're going to get so much rainfall in so many places. Even San Antonio, even Georgetown, even Round Rock, even Austin, you could get significant flooding in the hill country if this runs up the hills a little bit. Chad, you've covered, I mean, many, many hurricanes. You sound surprised mm -hmm. by the numbers and the several feet of rain here. Yeah. You've never seen this before. I, I, I grew up. <laughs> I'm significantly older than you are. And I grew up living through what was Hurricane Agnes, a big storm upstate oh, yeah. New York, Pennsylvania, uh, you know, all those areas right on through the Susquehanna River Valley that just flooded for days because Agnes stopped. This isn't even as big. I mean, this storm right here is going to sit there for five days and it's going to rain more than Agnes ever did. So I can't imagine. If you take a look at this, let me just draw this because it sounds like I have just an extra minute right here. That is the size of South Carolina because wow. Texas is a big state. There's going to be 20 inches of rain or more in the same size as the state of South Carolina. What do you do with that? It's not going to just run off. It's going to be a devastatingly long event. I was in Sugarland for the last devastating event they had, and that was only about 7 to 10 inches. And the water was everywhere in the city. No, no one escaped that flood. And this is twice or three times that. Mm. Wow. Ted Myers painting the picture right. uh, for us there uh, and giving us the unvarnished truth. Thank you. Appreciate that, Chad. Uh, I want to turn now to our other breaking news tonight. We have lots to talk about. President Trump pardons controversial Sheriff Joe Arpaio, who was convicted of criminal contempt over his hardline tactics against undocumented immigrants, plus White House advisor Sebastian Gorka, who downplayed the threat from white supremacists, is out tonight. CNN's Alexander, Alexander Marquardt uh, joins us now with the very latest on this. Amid this category for Hurricane, the president pardoned